Hi friends! So, um, I wanted to show you I just battled using a team that I built from Op Zero's Pokemon on his, um, Alpha Sapphire version. And I wanted to show you what happened, because this guy came into the battle with only three Pokemon being really cocky, so... Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. Yeah, I resisted that. <laughs> And then he, um, sent out the typical Umbreon you see, the Toxic Protect Staller. So it pretty much absorbed that Dark Pulse. And I landed a crit there, I was pretty lucky. But yeah, it landed the Toxic on the end there, which kind of sucks. There it goes. Doing its thing. I shouldn't really talk though because on my own version, um, I actually have a shiny Umbreon that has the same toxic protect, you know, stalling kind of tactic. I thought that Electivire would be able to tank it pretty well, but eh, you'll see what happens. <laughs> I knew it would go for Protect there, so I just used Thunderbolt again. And then I was trying to be sly and go for something else when it couldn't protect. So I went for Giga Impact, but it missed! I was like, really? And that completely wrecks me with that foul play and the poison takes me out. So that sucked. I have no idea how Op Zero got all of these crazy Pokemon, but I was like, hey, I want to try using them in battle, and they came in very handy. I just decided to use Earthquake on whatever came in. So, uh, it really helped because it did a lot of damage on that shiny Greninja. And the shiny Greninja, I think, is holding a life orb. So that came in handy because it actually did some damage to itself by damaging me. So that's cool. I'm surprised the Umbreon wasn't holding leftovers or something. Yeah, that Hydro Cannon did a good amount of damage there. So that was lucky. Didn't quite take it out though. And Ninja, I had to let him go. Alright, so I bring out Op Zero's Ace, which is a shiny Mega Beedro. And I say it's his Ace because he, uh, did a lot of work to this thing, because when he heard Mega Beedro announced, he was like, oh! I have a shiny Beedrill that I caught in the uh, bug catching contest in Gen 4, so I traded it up and, you know, decided to do work with it. And it really worked because it took out that annoying Umbreon, so yay! Starting to love Mega Beedrill more and more. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, he gets taken out there, but he did his job. I tried sending out Darkrai here to see if I could be a little cheap with his sleeping crap, but yeah, he gets taken out. And I thought Focus Blast was a fighting type move, but it hit Darkrai, so that can't be. Darkrai is a ghost type, right? I thought he was. Maybe it's just pure dark. I don't know. Anyway, since Gengar's part poison, that earthquake completely destroyed it. So that was good. And then all he has left is this last Greninja. And he's only got a little bit of health left, so I decided I would just let Garchomp be sacked and the life orb damage would take it out. And that's technically a win for my side because I still have Charizard on my team, so he never came out. So yeah, that was a fun battle, and uh, thanks to this guy for giving me a real challenge with only three Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Bye!